Today is May 8th, I believe, Friday, and I wanted to dispel um, myths about magic bullet cures or magic bullet sym symptom treatments with supplements. So this is something that is um, very uh, often is what I see. It can be very confusing, and I would say both parties play into it. So the patient will play into it and then the alternative practitioner can play into it too. Um, but I'll explain what I'm talking about. So there's two schools of thoughts. So um, when we are in the medical model, um, the allopathic Western medical model, it is really a disease prevention, a disease treatment model, not even prevention, it's a disease treatment, it's an acute treatment model. And so we are kind of very much programmed to go to the doctor um, for an acute, whether it be like what, a sinus infection, um, a cold, flu, immune system issues, and then one prescription is given, one or two prescriptions is given, and then that's really it. And um, over the years, centuries, whatever, it has evolved evolved into um, trying to take that disease care model and turn it into prevention and wellness and that's not what doctors are trained to do um, they can't in 15 minutes or sorry five minutes at answer two of your questions and give you um, a health plan a health protocol it just it can't work like that um, but that's not the topic of today's focus it's just giving you a bit of background is like yes you go to the ER whether it's um, a heart attack whether it's um, you know um, blood sugar management whatever there's one prescription given for that and it's like let's manage your blood sugar get your blood tests corrected um, and on the lab now they'll look within normal range and then or let's balance your thyroid and give you a medication and on the uh, medical lab work uh, it looks within normal range so that's like the magic bullet you give that one thing and then we're all programmed to think that that that's how to treat the body and it's just that one pharmaceutical is given so now you have naturopathic medicine which is far older than Western medicine um, but it is like a newer medicine considered uh, but the principles of it are ancient um, so now you have allopath uh, western medicine so now you have naturopathic medicine um, or, or alternative medicine which is looking at um, the totality of your health it's like looking at your mental emotional symptoms it's looking at your spiritual symptoms it's looking at your wounding it's looking at your diet it's looking at your habits it's looking at your sleep hygiene it's looking at your relationships it's looking at your financial situations it's looking at um, generational um, patterns it's looking at uh, genetic predisposition it's looking at everything the totality of your symptoms and um, that's how you can start to peel back on what really is uh, causing the, the root disturbance and the vital force of the person. However, now we have this Western model of that magic bullet and you'll have your list of XYZ medications and now um, you go to a health food store and under each category there is a list of supplements. So what has happened is that disease model of the magic bullet that fixes the um, lab test um, but actually doesn't result in health but your lab test might be within normal range. Now we got a society because we're programmed to think that we don't really need to uh, do as much as we need to do for our health. Trust me, to get to a high vit vitality, there is so much work that needs to be done. Not to scare anyone away, but our patients will know that you have to invest a lot of time to heal the body. But now we have that disease prevention, disease state model with the magic bullet, and now you go into health food stores, and it's like, 
uh, I have a thyroid issue. I want to get off of my medication and maybe I can switch to this natural supplement. Or I have blood sugar issues and I can switch to this natural herb that comes from the Amazon. Or I have sleep issues. I can get off my sleep pills and then go to this natural supplement. So now you're taking that disease model and using supplements and doesn't make a difference. So you're taking one magic bullet and just because you're using supplements doesn't make you healthier. It's not gonna really do much because you're swapping out a pharmaceutical for a natural supplement and nothing is uh, going to change in terms of vitality, vital force, and your health. And so um, that dis dis breaks all of the um, tenets of naturopathic medicine where you have to look deep into uh, what is causing the disturbance of the sleep, what is causing the thyroid issues, what is causing the blood sugar issues, what is causing the blood pressure issues, and peeling back to the whole lifestyle, uh, mental, emotional, spiritual body, generational body, genetics, all of that. But instead, now everyone's adopted this, let me take this supplement to treat my sleep because it's healthier, quote unquote. And I don't want the side effects of pharmaceuticals. And that's a total, total, myth because if you're swapping one for the other you're you're you, like this is this tiny little like tip of the iceberg that's showing on top of the water and this whole beast underneath the water that no one's looking at and you're swapping a sleeping pill for a natural uh, natural supplement for sleep it's not gonna do anything so everyone's trying to take the model of that and use supplements. You can't have both ways, you can't. Um, so if you're doing that, you're really not at all following naturopathic principles or alternative healing. You are still what, would you, what could be referred to as green allopathy. So you're taking the magic bullet philosophy and applying it to the supplement, which doesn't really fix anything. So from birth onwards, you can take um, a list of pharmaceuticals and swap them with um, a natural supplement. Um, so saying that, oh, you know, I don't want to take my antidepressants. I'm just going to switch to St. John's wort. Um, or I don't want to take um, my thyroid medication. I'm going to take this bladder whack um, or this, this, um, this sea kelp um, supplement. Or I don't want to take, um, you know, uh, anything for, um, let's say um, my, my infection, so I'm gonna take this natural antibiotic. Um, but there's no talk of how did you get to that point. So we can't have it both ways. You can't have that disease quick magic bullet model and be mad at doctors who go to uh, their office every single day trying to help people. And, um, and they have all these patients who come who perhaps don't really uh, take time to look into the outer functionings of what could have contributed. And, you know, maybe they don't encourage that either. But then there, you know, there's then this unrealistic anger towards the medical profession when that's not their model at all and then we want that same model but in the supplements so let me take that one magic bullet supplement and that's healthier for me because there won't be side effects of the pharmaceuticals and it can't work we can't have it both ways you can uh, for short term um, use supplements to treat symptoms while it's holding space and then digging deeper um, but you can't can't just uh, take that supplement and expect to have health. Um, that is symptom management, which is also the medical model of disease care is symptom management. So you have an outward symptom and now you're using a supplement to manage that symptom. So it's really important to call it what it is. That's not prevention. Um, that's not treatment at root cure um, or root cause. That is symptom management. And so um, it's not really doing anything for long-term health. You're managing symptoms. And so a lot of patients will come in too, um, and they'll take, let's, this is a common one. So for, um, let's say acid reflux, and they're taking, I figured out most, let's say 
I'm totally generalizing, but most of the time acid reflux is due to uh, a stress response. So there's a lot of less stress in that person's life. Um, they hold it in their stomach. It affects their digestion. They're having gas, heartburn, bloating, all that stuff. Um, difficulty with certain foods all of a sudden where that wasn't an issue before. So they take the remedies and the remedies are not for acid medication. It's not to balance acid medication in that case. It is a uh, to balance their nervous system of the stomach, which is called the enteric nervous system. So they take the remedies and they feel great. So they come back after one week, uh, after one month, and they're like, I don't think I need any more remedies because I feel great. Or they just don't come back. And then two months later, then they come back and say, well, it worked the first time, but it didn't work, uh, it didn't last. Well, they also had the expectation of the magic bullet cure for symptom relief and not treatment. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to everyone? What I'm trying to convey? And a lot of uh, alternative practitioners can fall into this too. So it takes a lot more time to, so I see a heart, it does make sense, yes. So it takes a lot more time, care, um, oh, that's my cousin Rita, hi Rita. It makes sense to her apparently. Um, she is trying to uh, set up Zoom meetings with our moms tomorrow, and good luck to her. Let's send her some prayers um, for Rita. Okay, does it make sense? So Donna says totally. So um, the there is um, this expectation of I took the remedies and it didn't last. So there was no treatment. That was the symptom management. Um, so you can't have it both ways. And then now you'll find, and you have to be careful of this, that alternative practitioners will do the same and use supplements just to manage symptoms and fall into that symptom management model and not the long-term treatment because unfortunately, like, you know, there there is livelihoods that need to be kind of taken care of um, and that longer model takes a lot more time and patients don't want it. So a lot of times they just they don't want the journey and so a lot of practitioners can fall prey to just feeling filling that void of the supplement which is good because that's needed too and i'm not saying that that there's no place for it there totally is a place for it but there's a difference they're treating the symptom model versus long-term naturopathic principles of um, cure um so a lot of times uh, the most common is um, I want to take melatonin. So, um, melatonin is a hormone and that is the ultimate, it drives me nuts, that is the ultimate magic bullet insertion. So, melatonin is a hormone that we make naturally. We make it by uh, dimming the lights uh, starting at 7 p.m., turning off our electronics. Um, it is a hormone that is contributed to sleep, but melatonin doesn't make us sleep. So there's so many factors that can be affected with sleep. It could be your adrenals, it could be your blood sugar, it could be your cortisol levels, it could be your stress levels, it could be your hormones. Melatonin is one of the maybe 20 things that affects sleep. It could be maybe your room is too hot. It could be maybe that you stopped eating at 4 p.m. because you're in intermittent fasting. Um, there's so many factors, but now the magic bullet model has seeped in that melatonin is for sleep. And so I have sleep problems. I'm not looking at any of my lifestyle factors trying to figure out why I have sleep problems, but I am going to take melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that we produce and not everyone is low in melatonin. Um, that's one of the reasons of many, like I said, that could be affecting sleep. But to just plug it in and then not change any of the lifestyle factors, it's not doing any, let's be like really real, you're not doing anything great for your health by doing that it's not treating the deeper imbalance. It, it's symptom management, and then you could put a band-aid over what could be a gaping wound, but you're doing it with a supplement and feels really uh, better for you because there is a, a natural supplement that may not have side effects. It doesn't matter because the supplement is masking the deeper imbalance now. 
So now maybe you can get to sleep with melatonin, but there's a variety of lifestyle factors that are totally out of balance that now can be overrode, and then there's just a band-aid over that with this natural supplement. Now using the magic bullet cures for um, using a supplement, and um, we've uh, again imposed that that medical model onto the supplement um, theory or the, the natural healing theory, and there's a huge infected wound underneath that is not even um, looked at, and then the body's going to be like, okay, well, now I'll sleep with melatonin. Eventually, your sleep is going to get horrific again, or the body's going to figure out all those imbalances. It's going to show up somewhere else in your life, and then there has to be a look for another supplement that will cover that symptom because there's no deeper, deeper look at uh, lifestyle management. So, when you go to the health food stores, and yes, some of it's necessary, but there's rows and rows and rows of stuff under categories, it, it, it doesn't make any sense because um, digestion could be, like there, like most people under the digestion um, category could just think I need digestive enzymes. Well, maybe they're uh, viciously allergic to gluten and that's not been addressed, but you take the digestive enzymes and you feel so much better um, but you're still allergic to gluten and now you've masked it with the digestive enzyme. So you're putting a magic bullet supplement cure onto uh, a gaping wound again. Does that make sense? That makes sense to everyone. Throw some hearts up, some questions. This is a big thing that really, really, um, it really uh, is something that takes a lot of education about for patients and it's a total reframe of looking at our health because uh, health is a peeling of layers and there's several patients who are on here who are on the journey and are continuing on the journey and they know what it takes and one supplement, one magic bullet supplement, like they, it wouldn't have done anything and then it's like Oh, so Donna's giving like tons of hearts. So I think it resonates with her. Um, it wouldn't have done anything because it's it's not at all treating the underlying. And uh, make no question about it, it, because it's a supplement, you're not being healthier. So we also have this, um, I think, a tendency to be... Um, yeah, I'm going to get to that point. So we have this tendency to feel a little bit hierarchy, and that's just natural human uh, tendency. But, um, oh, it's like you're on this medication. Well, I'm taking this supplement. Um, and I figured it out. And uh, But really, there's been no... Um, uh, exploration of as to why the supplement and the symptoms are there in the first place so trust me there's no um, I'm better than my next friend who's taking a pharmaceutical there's no difference because the undercurrent has not been looked at and so you're still on a disease model treatment um, that is not an alternative long-term treatment towards cure so there really should be no um, I don't do pharmaceuticals I'm I, I got myself on a supplement that is total ego, total separation, total perception of duality. And pharmaceuticals, when um, needed, are, are amazing and life-saving. They've saved my life so many times. Um, could a supplement have done that? No. But did I stop at that, that um, life-saving pharmaceutical? No, I dug deep, 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 deep to figure out why all that stuff was there in the first place. Um, so that's the difference of the holistic treatment versus the disease model treatment and um, many people get romanticized into taking the uh, disease model and replacing it with a supplement and thinking that it's healthier and it is not trust me so Rita wrote um, we want immediate relief but we have to do the work to find the root cause of what's causing the issue yes you can't that's a good point you can take a supplement to find immediate relief or a pharmaceutical whatever works for you in that moment or in that month but take it as an opportunity as space to give you opportunity to not suffer as much as you do the deeper work because the symptoms need to be addressed. That, that for sure needs to be addressed, but why are they there in the first place? Um, that takes the deeper work and that take, 
it can take like months and years. And when people often ask me, like, I've been doing this for a year, when is it gonna fix? Uh, it's really like, I don't know, cause I don't know what was underneath. Um, I know the direction of what's in balance, but I don't know how long um, and what kind of files are under there that need to be totally corrected in order for the body to just totally balance. And usually, if it's been something since birth or even in the womb um, is often when things start, especially for women, I see that all the time. It takes time to really, really peel stuff back. So I think many of the Brio patients understand that it's a journey because we have never really been um, a magic bullet supplement uh, clinic. We always pride ourselves on the, the deeper journey um, of like weeding, seeding, feeding, thriving. And that's our Brio living philosophy. However, um, please be uh, careful of the philosophy of treating yourself with switching pharmaceuticals to a natural. It's, it's not doing yourself um, really a lot of good for health. Um, it's symptom management. That's, that's really what it is it's just symptom management. Like you're just managing day to day. There's no freedom in that. There's no deeper, deeper um, cure. Um, there's no deeper exploration of the root cause, the deeper physiology, you're managing symptoms. So Chitinder writes, uh, for anxiety, I've taken all the supplements, remedies, teas you can think of. I'm tired of it now. I realize that yes, they're useful at times, but they're not the cure, yep. I stopped treating it like a bandage, ripped it off, don't know when it will heal, just trusting the process. At times it's hard, it's frustrating, I break down, but I have to continue. Yes, that is beautiful and a vulnerable share. So thank you for sharing that. Um, and I know Jatinder is supported medically and um, naturopathically. She's not just doing this on her own. So when she rips the band-aid off, she is supported when she's doing that too. So she's doing it very smartly and she's not just covering it up with a supplement. Um, it, it couldn't have worked. It really couldn't have worked. So yes, there is many anti-anxiety supplements um, on the market. But using the, so supplement companies are very cunning too. And if you, they, they're marketing on the um, symptom management model, the magic bullet model, they know that's what people want. So when you look at the supplement list of what it treats, it's like so many things and you read it and it's under your category of like sleep or digestion or anxiety and it says all these things. It's like, great, that's what I want. Um, so yes, Jatinder said yes, she's doing it safely. I, I believe that's what she's responding to. She's doing it safely, um, but she's giving herself the time and not just forcing the healing. So it really takes time. It's so uncomfortable. It's sometimes a very painful process, but there's no way around it but through it. So yeah, it's just like um, you can't just take an anti-anxiety uh, natural supplement and they'll write down all this romantic stuff about what it does and yeah and sure it could do all that stuff but where's the exploration of like deeper 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 and i have um this fear not fear but this concern now because medical doctors do have a lot of pull like their their um authority ranks very high and um now you'll see it's going to start to happen in canada too but in the states there's more functional doctors and so they're doing like they're medical doctors but they're doing more natural cures but and everyone's like oh it could like wipe out naturopathic medicine not even close because they're not getting to the root they're just switching pharmaceuticals with supplements so they're doing the disease model with supplements and they're calling it functional medicine Yes, more so they'll be doing testing like supplements, uh, or sorry, uh, food sensitivities and parasites, all that stuff. That's great. All that stuff is great, but it's still very much a symptom management model. And when you know someone who goes and does the deeper, 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 you can feel it. it it's a different scenario. It's a different journey. Um, there are definitely some functional medicine doctors in the States, I'm not saying a blanket statement at all, who are doing the deeper work for sure. So they're medical doctors, do alternative treatments and the symptom manage and then get deeper. Um, but a lot of times now you're gonna see like this functional medicine doctors in the States who are doing natural stuff, they're like just packed, people are loving it. But I just uh, don't think that that work is deep enough 
um, it's still the medical model of like, boom, we did this for three months and got them out of an autoimmune or whatever. And I, I, I just, I can't see that happening. It's, it's a lot of deeper, deeper work. Does that make sense to everyone? So there's the symptom management model, which is the medical, Western medical model, and it's the magic bullet cure. And now people seem to want that or expect that because we've been programmed for that for the supplements too. And so Lynn says, yes, awesome, I love it. So now people are expecting that symptom management model. Rita says, yes, that symptom management model with supplements and it cannot work. So make no bones about it. Um, naturopath, I also believe, also is also like a coach that helps you do the deeper work while guiding you, no replacement. Yes, yeah, so um, it, it's an unfolding of your symptoms and sometimes there's months where you don't need to prescribe it a lot. You just need to like let it all come to the surface and let, let the person detoxify themselves or um, just, you know, feel supported, um, especially later in their years of treating. It's not every month you're banging out a prescription, you know. Um, in the beginning, yes, because people are really, really uncomfortable, but as you get to the deeper work, a person really knows what their body can handle and cannot handle too. So we cannot take that symptom management model, that magic bullet, and go to the health food store and just replace a pharmaceutical with a supplement. It's not going to work. Um, you might get a little bit of relief, but you're on this hamster wheel of like chasing symptoms all the time. There will be another symptom and another symptom and another symptom. Um, so even the vendors, um, one of our big vendors who we get the under remedies from, which is the remedies I love to use, um, she knew like earlier on in my practice, every season for um, cold flu, she'd be like, need to, we have oxacillum or whatever, something like that. It's like this complex homeopathic that treats cold flu viruses. And then after like year one or two, she's like, I know, she's like, I know you won't take that. I know your philosophy of care. She's like, you won't sell that to your patients. I'm like, no, because I'm treating them for cold flu the entire year. I'm treating them in the summer for cold flu. I'm treating them in the winter. I'm not going to do a magic bullet replacement even for a natural homeopathic for cold flu. So she, she stopped suggesting that to me and knew that I would only do the undas, which all treat the immune system anyways, but I didn't need to sell my patients oxys, whatever. I don't want to trash the, the remedy. It's, it, I think it's a good remedy, but that's not my philosophy of care is just to um, treat. So then when something hits, I'm like ready to c cover up that symptom and ready to chase, put, put out that fire. I'm putting out that fire the entire year. So when cold flu season hits, that transition is not so harsh on the body. The person that I'm treating can handle that transition. Um, when a person can't handle the transitions is when there's difficulties and the immune system can't can't keep up. So that's one of the issues. So then even the vendors, they get caught up in it too. So then she stopped suggesting it to me. She's like, I know that's not what you're gonna use. I know you're gonna not gonna use immune boosters. And I was like, yeah, because I'm treating the immune system every single time that they come in, not just this one magic bullet. So she, she stopped suggesting any magic bullets to me as well. Um, it's just not, um, it doesn't make sense to me in my philosophy of care. Yes, I always treat symptoms. I, I, I'm good at symptom management too. Um, and sometimes you do need those little magic bullet supplements for those too. Um, but with my patients for longer term care, I, I just, I don't subscribe to it. It doesn't make sense. I don't want them to waste their money. Um, and is it like false security? Sometimes, yes. Placebo, sometimes, yes, maybe. So if that works for them, then yes, it's worth it. Um, but a lot of those remedies you can get at health food stores. So I, I just felt like I didn't really need to, to have them in my office. Um, does that make sense to everyone? Does anyone have any questions about the symptom magic bullet model being expected now with the supplement model? And that's what we're trying to do. And it, it just, th those models don't work together. Um, in fact, you're just making one model like the other one, just changing the, the outfit that it's wearing or the, the treatment. So, but the underlying philosophy of it is the same. Yes, so Donna is throwing up some hearts. Any uh, questions about this? Any comments? Any clarifications? You know, sometimes it's even like, um, 
um, iron. So if there's low iron and you're switching to a natural iron, that still is, is a magic bullet model. Low B12 and you just give the person an injection, it's still a magic bullet model. So we do do some of the magic bullet models, but you have to explore deeper. Um, if you just give a person iron, maybe you're missing the deeper, deeper imbalance, which so often could be like celiac disease or something like that, something in the gut. Um, I think this is a symptom of our society. Quick fixes for health, exercise, relationships, instant gratification, no matter what the subject. Yes, that is totally it. Um, when you look at a diet routine, it'll be like 12 weeks and you've lost like 45 pounds. Um, and they'll show before and afters of somebody who's probably like a pro triathlete and just gained a bit of weight. And so their muscle memory was like super quick. Um, yeah, weight is no different. Working out is no different. Growing your hair we expect that it takes months and months to grow your hair but for health we expect that magic bullet cure um, I think people do give more grace to going to the gym and building muscle than they actually do for health too so they know that that going to the gym is gonna be time and time there they are a little bit anxious with it too but I still think that um, people expect their health to switch qu quicker than even the gym routine I truly believe that. Um, but so much time given to growing out your hair, like that's not even an issue. You can't go from here to here in like two days. We know that that's gonna take time. Um, but overturning health seems to be this programming of like, I gotta get it right away and it's gotta be this magic bullet. Underneath that is, you know, um, anxiety of our health and mortality and, and just a fear of actually exploring what's underneath. And, and I get that too. And sometimes that's needed just to do the magic bullet cures for a while. Um, but just trust you cannot just switch one pharmaceutical to a natural and expect that you're actually treating. It's not. It's magic bullet cures with supplements. Any other questions, even unrelated to this topic, and that I can relate back um, to the magic bullet cures or symptoms, anything that I could share. This is a big one for me because I see it a lot. Like patients are always like, well, when is it gonna fix? And I'm like, well, you're feeling better. Your body's doing its thing. Um, you gotta trust the process. Like if there's no change after one, two visits, yes, I gotta do something. I'm, I gotta pivot, I'm, I gotta look somewhere else. But you're already feeling better. Um, and to stop right away means that you're just doing symptom management. You're not looking deeper as to why this happened in the first place. And the thought process was using supplements just to treat that symptom. And uh, that's the symptom management model. Any other questions? I love this topic. It's gonna be similar to my mastermind, um, I think it's next week, which is about germ theory and um, similar to after having a baby, you'll be healed in six weeks, yeah. That I see a lot too, like moms, uh, the pr amount of prolapsed uteruses because they're just like back to exercising right away and thinking that they're healed because they got the, the goods to go. Or day two, they're after giving birth, they're at Costco. Um, that is totally like the same thing. Um, whereas traditional cultures would be like, do not move for 40 days and get your adrenal energy back, your, your balance, your hormones, and then um, start to do some things. But um, yeah, our society is just like, oh, I'm back to, back to normal. You'll see it with celebrities too, um, diagnosed with cancer, but then right away they're like two months later, they're cancer free. And um, that's just like, cause we, you know, they want our, us to look at celebrities and be revered as like superhuman and idolize them and they kick cancer in two months and it's never, never actually the case at all. So. Um, that's, that's perpetuating the disease model, the d disease care model, the magic bullet model, the symptom management model. So don't get caught into that romanticized trap of thinking that this is healthy to just swap supplements. Um, if you go to supplements, uh, health food stores or pharmacies in Europe, their supplement section is like small and the rest of it is homeopathics or drainage remedies, which is similar to what I use. And here, if you go get supplements, it's like rows and rows and rows of supplements. And that's basically the total, total symbol of our uh, society wanting that instant gratification of the disease model but switching to supplements that's totally what it is 
So, um, any other questions? Anything that I can help? Does that help? Clarify? Did anyone ever think of this supplements in this way? It's very interesting to think. And practitioners get caught up in it too because it does take a little bit of thought. Like, what am I doing here? Yeah, they're taking a natural iron, but why are they iron deficient? You gotta look deeper. Why are they B12 deficient? Why do they need an IV injected into their arm when not everybody needs that? Yes, we can plug it back in, but why do they need that? We gotta explore that. Otherwise, we're just symptom managing. Magic bullet cures. Any other questions, comments? Shoppers, yeah, Shoppers has a separate aisle, I know. It's like out of control. I think London Drugs too. And I don't even know, I, I think probably Costco too. I don't even know the quality of those supplements either. Um, but it is a false um, comfort uh, of taking those supplements really. Of thinking that that's healthy. And if you look back on all the lives I've done, if anybody ever watched those, like one to one to one, and kept watching them, I think that they would be in like peak health because the amount of gems given in the lives since the pandemic started um, is like root level healing. And I tried, I think all of us in, in our lives at Brio have tried not to talk too much about supplements because there's so much you can do for your immune system. This is especially in the beginning when we didn't know if people were able to be mobile or go out or whatever. We wanted to give like deep, deep immune system treating cures. Um, or treatments following the laws of how the body heals um, just from being at home. And um, there's so much, like if you just keep watching these videos, there's like pearls, gems, and if a person incorporated all of that, it, compared to like a supplement at Shoppers, like it, it doesn't even make sense when you think about it. Like all that work you would do with the, the little laws of healing that have been outlined in each of our um, Facebook Lives compared to taking like a supplement or a Jameson, like vitamin C. The Facebook Lives have been amazing. Ah, oh, awesome. So we're thinking of opening, not thinking, um, we're giving the green light to open soon. So we'll see how we can manage keeping up with some sort of Facebook Live schedule because it's been really fun. I think it's cracked everyone out of their shells um, and all the practitioners. And um, I would love to have them like keep up with it. I, I did tons of talks. This is before like Facebook and social media. I did tons of talks around the city. Like I just drove myself into the ground, like walking all over or driving all over doing talks everywhere. Um, I did a few Facebook live seminars, but before by myself. Um, but I'd love to keep up with these. Um, oh, another important point, you guys, I will put the link in Facebook. Um, we have a separate link now for anyone who wants um, Facebook live information because I think people were getting annoyed by our daily emails. We're trying to help, but I understand there was a lot of emails um, that were annoying to people. So we now have a separate link and a subscription um, that will tell you the schedules for the Facebook Live. So I'll put that link up too. And uh, Donna says, yes, I think she she wants us to continue these. Um, Rita says, I love these. Uh, Jatinder says that uh, the bulk buy vitamins from Costco. Yep, I've heard about those. I, ha I actually have not been to Costco in 10 years, but um, I've heard about those vitamins. When are you planning on opening? I think there's gonna be a slow, gradual opening. We have to figure out how to stagger everyone, but maybe the last week of May or June 1st, June 2nd, something like that. Um, but we have to distance everyone and figure out how to do that. Um, so there'll still be a lot of virtual appointments because um, we're gonna need more space to social distance. And so you can't social distance with like six, seven practitioners. So there's still gonna be a lot of virtual visits too. So stay tuned for that. We're excited to be back, um, but we've been so excited to be in service to everyone for these Facebook Lives during this time, this strange time in our um, in our lives, um, to be here for um, patients, just giving them glimmers of you know our immune system is primed. It is exposed to like trillions of viruses a day, you know. Um, and how do we keep it optimal? And this is what what we do, and how to do it um, to to do our best to keep ourselves healthy. So. What is health involved? It is for sure not from the disease model. 
that can save lives yes like i said it has saved my life many many times um but for overall health and well-being it is not that model that can be imposed onto the with supplements so it's two separate things completely so i would say that this disease model with a magic bullet cures using supplements that's still the western medicine model you're still totally using the western medicine model that is not a nat naturopathic model at all all right, everyone, any last questions, comments, anything else, any topics? If you have a, que a topic for Facebook Live, just email it to me or tell me right now, put it in the comments below. I will try to talk about that because um, we still have Facebook Lives coming up and I am super open to discussing specific topics. I really love these philosophy topics, which um, my master mind class is gonna be the germ theory versus the cellular terrain theory. This is also very confusing for people and it, it gives a lot of insight as to how I look at cases and um, um, protection from the outer world, how I look at um, taking a case, a person's case history. So that's a really super cool topic. I know I like to nerd out on that stuff, but it's very cool. Um, and most of the, you know, the Western model is the germ theory, whereas the model that I subscribe to is primarily the cellular terrain theory. So it's going to be very cool. It's similar to like, you know, imposing the medical model onto the supplement model, which it doesn't work. You're still using the medical model. There's, there's no difference. You're just using supplements. All right. Anyone else have any other questions? Anything else that I can answer before I pop off for today for the weekend. How's everyone doing? Seems like people have settled into their um, quarantine life a little bit. I think people are getting a bit antsy. Will be an interesting topic. Thank you, Dr. Nietzsche. Yeah, that'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. I think it's next Saturday. I might have to reschedule, but I will let you know. I might have to change the time. I will let you know, but it's supposed to be next Saturday. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Thank you, Lynn, for showing up. As always, thank you to Tinder. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Rita, and whoever else I can't see. Thank you for popping on. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Ciao.